What's up, dog? Yeah. Ah, oh, you're good. Hey everyone, this is Chris Hickman here with All Good Racing. Just coming to update y'all on a few things that's happened in the off season and just to keep y'all updated on how our season's starting out so far. We changed up, we moved out of the side to side, moved up to the bouncer game, uh, misfit, reject foul buggy. We went in this off season and changed motors, got a little bit more horsepower. The new motor, it's got a couple more hundred horsepower, it gives a little bit more power for some of these longer courses and longer runs that we're doing now. Some of the big news that we've been talking about coming up is that we are getting rear steer put on it. Hopefully, it'll be done by Windrock this weekend. Justin Holt and Reject Fab is putting in diligent hours on to make sure that happens for us. Wade's been able to handle it so far, and it's done well. At the Outlaw Race at Hawks Pride, we were the fastest on one of the hills. Ended up fourth for the day. Went out to Texas, done really well out there. He was right there within Virginia. The second off of Timmy on the first run. All right, Wade's off the line. We got Mahaley checking in. Again, we're going to see how Wade's doing in a big buggy. Like I said, he's upgrading from the side-by-side uh, -side world. Coming down, hitting those jumps. I said, looks like he's trying to set it down. He, he is a very, very hard racer, very competitive racer in the side-by-side -side class. So I'm, I'm excited to see how, how it rolls out. I know there's a little bit of a learning curve with big bouncers, but... Well, and Misfit is another another bouncer that... Out the top he goes. Check it, Ryan. Coming to the first turn there. Bicycle it. Kind of went off course through the bushes. Lost a lot of time. Still maintained to be the second fastest on both hills on both runs. So he was up with second from the day behind the legendary Timmy. Well, that was fun to watch. So, how you been? Been working on buggies I see. all winter. I see. New buggies, old buggies, somebody else's buggy. So, uh, <laughs> how does it feel going from a, a little bouncer to a big bouncer? It's a big difference. Yeah? You ain't got to worry about as much uh, rocks and stuff. But I've raced it a few times, but I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Yeah? Uh, you had our second fastest time. But you were almost almost one second behind Timmy. So, that's... If you're knocking on Timmy's door, pretty much you're, one you're, second exactly. You yeah. were thirty-four seven, and he was thirty-three seven. So, cool. so uh, pretty happy with that. Two good run. A second behind Timmy out of a forty-second run. You got to be happy with that. Yeah, that's good. I had a bobble down there on the second run. So that that corner I, hung, hung, hung up a little bit on. Yeah, the I got on two wheels. But yeah, I just stayed in it, went wide, and I pushed a little harder than I was going to in other places to try to make up for it. So maybe it won't affect me too much. Yeah. What yeah. was your thinking in going from UTV class to bouncer? Are you racing solely bouncer this season? Uh, Are so you going to be in bounty at all? or uh, So far, just, just kind of see what happens. Yeah, I sold my old buggy last year. So. Yeah. So we'll see. I might get something else. You never know. Yeah. You never know me and Chris. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So I said you guys have been teamed up for a while now. Yeah. Going on. This is our second full year. So we started in 2020, I think. Halfway through 2020. Yeah. So. What's the so. biggest difference so far you've seen with going from a side by side to a big bouncer? There's no limp mode. Yeah. <laughs> that was no my biggest. Limp mode. That was my True. biggest thing. Like you, a razor, you can look over as much as you want to, but one little sensor, one little wire, yeah, one little bounce, and it's you're done. Yeah. yeah. Big buggy, you. you gotta do something major to make it not run. <laughs> yeah. So. That's true. That's true. I like that a lot, knowing it's gonna run. Yeah. And it just, that buggy's really comfortable. I mean, people say it's old and ragged out and yeah. can't do no good in it, so we're going to see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, I said it looked like it had a good time today. So far, you're our first bouncer can't run. Can't do no so good in it? Set, uh, that's set that's, that's good time. rude, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You are going to do some good in it. So, getting rear steer in two weeks, so Kay. that'll help a lot. Hey, and, uh, there you go. See what we can do. Have you had a buggy with a rear steer before? No. No? Mm -hmm. Solid? Cool, cool, cool. Never. It's fine, you'll like it. I'll drive yeah. it through the yard and... Yeah. Go to Windrock. Get it figured I'll out. Be at yeah. with it, so. <laughs> drive it through the yard. Get it on. Right. Actually, I won't even drive it to the yard because I got to pick it up Friday before the race. Oh wow! I'll drive it at the parking lot. So you figured <laughs> out. Yeah. That's yeah. all you need. 
Do yeah. you uh, have anyone you want to give a shout out to or anything you want people to know out there? It's Chris and Heidi, everybody that helps me. We ain't got a whole lot of sponsors on the Big Buggy yet, but hopefully we do. And my wife back home, and uh, we got some family stuff going on, so I got to hurry up and get back. Yeah. And hope everything's good. So Priorities. Yep. yep. She, so, let me, she let me come this weekend, so thank her for that. Yeah. She was watching. I saw her checking in earlier. Hopefully. Hopefully um, everything okay and get back home and be ready yep. for next weekend. Yep. So I noticed the side of your panels are pretty empty like there's a lot of real estate there yep. so are you are you saying you wouldn't mind having some sponsor names hey, we'll filling take up anybody, those panels anything all right there you go there you go we got a few that we're He's doing on the hunt we're doing a wrap so we got a little bit of time before we come up with something so. yeah yeah we we don't turn nobody down anything else especially driving 14 hours here yeah. 14 oh, man, hours yeah. home, 10 hours to yep oklahoma next weekend so yep. it's a commitment to yep. be a in it for the the points yep. chase for the season you we're, know so we're racing every series every race that's a so, lot. Well, that's, that is a lot of racing. We're gonna we're gonna go for some championships. See what we can do. We're wanting to get into the endurance racing on one side or the other, side by side, on a big buggy, working a deal, purchasing a forty four hundred car to do some of the endurance racing this year. I'm putting Wade in an endurance car just let him get a good feel for endurance racing, make sure he's comfortable and likes it play with it see where this is going thank all the fans all the supporters you know if you don't follow all good racing on social media please do i like to thank sunfire off-road scott go forth with interco justin hope reject Fab, core junker with the torque master Brent's transmission went through everything on the transmission. Jason out there with American Joey and them uh, for what they're trying to do. Clyde for hanging in there through all the chaos and this crazy off season of all the stuff that's went on uh, and keeping things going. I'd like to also make sure I don't forget and thank 859 Off Road. They was a major contributor to us last season in the side-by-side -side building the chassis, keeping things maintained on it. And then they've stepped on board out of their realm of doing a lot of fab work and some stuff for us on the big bouncer without hesitation. So most definitely don't need to leave them out. Forget about them. 859 off-road. Wade Good for stepping up and driving the big bouncer. My wife, especially my wife, I like to thank her very much. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We will have some hoodies and yeah, t-shirts available for sale at Twin Draw. Thank you. We'll thank Chris and Heidi back home. They couldn't make it. All the spectators, everybody working here, putting it on. And see what we do in the big boy classes.